This month is World Cup month. Yes, the Football World Cup is going to be on, or Soccer World Cup as you call it in the US. Uh, and a lot of people are thinking of going to Doha in Qatar, which is where the World Cup is going to be played by private jet. Um, and this is what this video is about. If it's the first time for you on BizJet TV, welcome to the channel. Uh, please subscribe. And if you want to have access to exclusive content, click on the join button below to become a diamond member of BizJet TV. And also, if you enjoy this video, give me a super thanks at the end of it. So, um, my name is Fabrizio Polymio, Aviation Advisor and the host here over on BizJet TV. So, uh, private jet travel to uh, the World Cup. Now, usually the World Cup is played in a country where there are multiple stadiums across multiple cities. Uh, this is the first time that the World Cup is played in one city only. So in Doha and Qatar, they've built eight stadiums for the World Cup. So all you need to do is just fly to one location. You can watch all the matches. So that's a, that's a good thing. And for the first time ever, the World Cup is being played in the winter. Uh, usually the World Cup is played in the summer. Uh, just after every, all the players have finished playing their various leagues in their various countries, then they get called up by their national team and they go and play uh, the World Cup. So we are going to see players at their peak right now because they're interrupting all the different football leagues around the world in order to cater for the World Cup. So this is a very, very unique situation here for these two reasons. So we're going to see some very, very competitive football, uh, which is going to be good. And uh, flying by private jet. Now, should you fly by private jet? Now, of course, when you're going to an event like the World Cup, and in this case, you're going to one city, so you're not having to, you know, go to one city, sit there for a few days, watch a few matches, and then wait for your team to go through to the next, and then fly on to another city. Uh, from a logistics standpoint, this is pretty, pretty easy. You fly from London to Doha, you sit there for a week, watch your team play, and then if your team gets through to the next round, you, you just stay there a few more days and, and watch the next match. And just hope that your, your team's going to win and, and get through to the final and maybe win it. So this is uh, the thing. So if you're flying, for example, from London uh, to uh, Doha, it's uh, about a six and a half hour flight. It's just under 3000 nautical miles. And there's a number of airplanes that you can charter. Now, uh, someone would say, oh, well, that's, you know, I could even go in a smaller jet. Now, the thing is, if you're going to charter a very small jet, um, six and a half hours in a small jet is, is a long time, because as I always say, uh, more time you spend in the air, uh, smaller the airplane gets. So, uh, you know, it's not like flying on, on a Qatar Airways, a, you know, 777, for example, um, when you're flying in these smaller airplanes. But if you're going to go for a, a large cabin aircraft or you want to, you know, rent a BBJ or something like that, and I can organize all these for you. One of the things I do here is I organize charters for my clients as well as leases and, and, and selling aircraft or just doing consulting on various aviation projects. Uh, this is what we do here at Oriville Aviation, which is part of BizJet TV. So uh, reach out to me and, and I can help you with that. So how much is it going to cost? If you're going to you know, rent a, a, a large cabin aircraft, maybe 10, 15 of you, it's going to cost you around about fifteen to $20,000 each, which if you compare that to flying first class, the price is pretty much there. But the advantage of the private jet is you're going from a private jet terminal to a private jet terminal, which means you're not going through the riffraff of where everybody else is going, whether you've got thousands and thousands of people going through Munich or Zurich or Heathrow Airport, um, you won't have that when you fly from a private jet. You fly from a private jet airport or anywhere, private jet terminal, where you can park your car, get onto the airplane and in the air in like 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and then you can order your food in advance so you can decide on the menu. If it's a group of friends of yours, you can decide what wine you want, what food you want. You can put that request in. And that's something I can do for you. So you have a really, really customized service. So if you're going to be traveling in a group, 10 to 15 people, it is really, really a good idea to go by private jet. Just charter the whole airplane um, and, uh, and have a great experience together as friends, not only on the flight there and back, but also in Doha and also at the matches. Um, you know, this is this is a great experience. Now, for the country of Qatar, it's also good. They've put a lot of money into uh, securing the World Cup and, and building these stadiums and the infrastructure and that. And they are really trying to compete with Dubai. And I think, you know, with all the visitors that they're going to have over the World Cup and all the, you know, stuff that's going to be going on on TV, showing Doha and Qatar and the country and whatever, it's really putting the country on the map, uh, which is, I'm sure they're going to benefit financially after this, where a lot of people are going to think they're going to go and want to live there or they're going to go and do business there. Um, so the effort will will pay off at the end of the day because it's just putting the, the whole country on the map, which is which is really, really good. So kudos to uh, the royal family there in Qatar for putting this on. And I'm sure it's going to be a great World Cup. Now, what's my prediction for the World Cup? 
I think there's going to be a final between Portugal and Argentina. We're going to see Lionel Messi play against Cristiano Ronaldo for the World Cup. These two great players that have won everything except for the World Cup. Um, so this will really, uh, you know, put the crown on the greatest of all time if one of these two players wins the World Cup. You know, Portugal have got a young team uh, around Cristiano Ronaldo. Argentina are doing pretty well. Um, so this is the final that I think is going to happen. But there are also other teams which are, are in the running, like Brazil, for example. They've got lots of good... And we've got England, who uh, I think stand a very, very good chance of winning the World Cup. They've got a lot of young players. But also, the benefit of the English players is they're playing in the Premier League, where they're trained by the best coaches in the world, from Pep Guardiola to Jurgen Klopp and Antonio Conte. These are really exceptional coaches. And then you've got your emerging coaches as well in the Premier League, uh, training these players in a certain way. And they get to play very, very competitive football. So uh, it wouldn't surprise me to see England end up in the final and win it this time. Uh, they went very close in the European final. Lost to Italy on, on penalties. And then, of course, we've got France, we've got Germany, we've got Spain, uh, which will stand a chance. And then the two outsiders, which I think we've got to keep our eyes on, are Uruguay from South America. They've got some upcoming good young players and Serbia in Europe. Watch out for those two teams because I think they're going to do well and they could be a surprise and maybe even surprise everybody by winning the trophy. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. So what's your prediction on the World Cup? And if you need a private jet for the World Cup, reach out to me wherever you are in the world. Um, I can organise a charter for you and get you going to the World Cup. I suggest we get on a Zoom call uh, so I can hear more about you and your group that's going to see the World Cup and see what I can do to sort of really customise this experience for you in the best possible way. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a super thanks. And if you want to know more about BizJet TV, subscribe or, or maybe become a Diamond uh, subscriber by clicking on the Join button below. And that's all for Brisa Party on BizJet TV. Check out this other video, which I'm sure you will enjoy. And I'll see you on the next one.